Welcome to lesson five of beginner strumming. Um, today we're going to work with quarter notes again. Uh, this time we're going to uh, throw in some minor chords. And so far we've been playing major chords like C and G and D. Now uh, these are all major chords and they kind of have a, a happy sound to them uh, or a neutral sound at least. Whereas minor chords like the E minor they have a melancholy quality to them. They kind of sound sad. And if you listen to that minor chord and then listen to a major chord right after, uh, the major chord sounds more confident. Uh, minor, sad. Major chord, minor chord. Or I could play the E major and you see how it sounds different than the E minor. There's that minor note. And there's the major. And we'll also be playing a D dominant seventh chord. It's similar to a D chord, except we've added a flattened seventh scale step, which is kind of some music theory mumbo jumbo for you. I can use a D7 to substitute for a D chord. It just kind of a more jazzy sound. And this is especially important when uh, the, this, the D occurs in the fifth scale step of a key. Because you can use that D7 to lead back to the tonic. But again, that's kind of some music theory mumbo jumbo for you for stuff that you'll be learning later on, um, hopefully. So let's go ahead and play lesson five at 80 beats per minute. I'll count it off. One, two, three, four. If you notice that last chord, that F chord, it's not a chord that's on our uh, common open chords list. Um, it is a abbreviated version of what, what is it called a bar chord. And that's a bar chord. That's an E shaped bar chord. We take our E shape and move everything up. We end up with that bar chord. And that F chord that we're playing here does not require that bar so it's a little easier to play but we can move this around the neck to create other chords so it's a it's a good chord to learn for beginners because you'll be able to transition this chord shape later into full bar chords but we're not going to worry about that now we're just worrying about playing these uh, open versions because we are in beginner strumming so let's go ahead and play today's exercise one more time. We'll play it at 100 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. 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 Again, if you having problems changing chords, or if you cannot strum that fast yet, um, slow your tempo down and practice at a slower beat. And we'll see you for lesson six.